Okay, so looking at this drawing, I can see that I have a rectangle, which is located here. And you can also see the dimensions that are used for that rectangle. And it's going to be the 4 and the 2.5. These other two dimensions are telling me the center or the center of where that pipe is sticking out. The size of that pipe is sticking out. It says that the inside diameter is 0.5 and the outside diameter or the wall thickness of it is 0 .06, 0 0.062. So that wall thickness, remember that that's going to have to be doubled and added to the inside thickness to get the overall diameter of the outside pipe. These dimensions on the outside here are telling me how far this elliptical arc that's sticking out of this is going to be created. So I'm going to start by creating a rectangle. I see that. I'm going to locate the circle that has a diameter of 0.5 and that's going to go right in the middle. I will calculate the wall thickness of this one and we can use the calculator command to do that. And then we'll create the elliptical arcs. Once again we have to keep that counterclockwise rotation going when we create those. Alright so now since we analyze the problem that we have Let's go ahead and switch over to AutoCAD and see if we can make it happen. Okay, so I'm going to start with a rectangle. Specify the first point. I'll click here. And then the upper right corner of this one will be 4, 2.5. Now that we have our rectangle created, let's go ahead and create our circle on the inside. Circle. Center diameter. I'll shift and right click and choose geometric center. Remember just touch the edge of your rectangle or any of the lines and then click on the geometric center. You can see I'll start pulling away or giving me a, myself a preview of the circle and the inside diameter is 0.5. To create the outside diameter, let's go ahead and choose circle, center diameter. I'm just going to touch the edge of my circle, click on the center. Once again, I'd just like to give myself a preview of that. And then we can type in the apostrophe C-A-L. Enter. Now I need to give it the expression to calculate my diameter. So my inside diameter is 0.5. I will add the 0 .062, that's one side, and I have to add the other side, a wall thickness, 0 .062. Enter, and you can see that it will create that other diameter circle, and it gave me the measurement of it, which was 0 .624. Now that I have that created, let's go ahead and create the elliptical arcs on the end. The elliptical arc command is located underneath arc and then elliptical arc. It's asking me to specify the axis or the center. So in this case I'm going to use the two axis point first and then the second one I'll use the center method. So I'm going to select this endpoint and then this endpoint. And you notice that I'm selecting these kind of in that, that clockwise rotation although this is not the time for it. Now I need this to go out this direction so long as I go horizontally I can type in 0.5. Now we're at the point to where I want to start the start the angle. So I'm going to click at this endpoint and then I'll click this endpoint. You'll notice in this one we don't have that option to rotate if we select those angles wrong or we select the endpoints wrong. So I had to select the top one first and then the bottom one because I'm creating that angle, sorry, that arc in a clock and a counterclockwise rotation. Let's do the elliptical arc again. This time I'm going to specify center. So I'm going to 
locate this by the center. Choose the word center. I'll click on this midpoint. Now I have to select an endpoint. It doesn't matter which one of these endpoints you select. So I'll select the top one. I'll go out either direction. 0.5. And now I have to decide which endpoint that I'm going to select first. Remember counterclockwise. So I will select the bottom endpoint first. And then I will select the top endpoint. Okay, so the thing that you need to remember most is just anytime you're creating arcs, and that goes for elliptical arcs, always remember that you're creating it in a counterclockwise rotation. The other thing to remember is that anytime you're dealing with pipes, the wall thickness has to be added or subtract twice depending on what you have to start with. So for example, we had this inside diameter to start with. That wall thickness applies on this side as well as this side. So therefore, we have to add it twice.